Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakia Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Morocco, Sri Lanka, UK, Mongolia and Afghanistan. The Moroccan ambassador, Mustafa Benkei, arrived at Sakia Palace. He was received by the head of the Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Mustafa Benkei then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Morocco to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the ambassador. Later, the Sri Lankan ambassador Pradeepa Priyangani Saram arrived at the palace. She was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Pradeepa Priyangani Saram then presented her credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Sri Lanka to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. Later, the UK ambassador Roddy Drummond arrived at the palace. He was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Roddy Drummond then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of the United Kingdom to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the ambassador.
Later, the Mongolian ambassador Chin Chin Zorek arrived at the palace. He was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Chinchisig Zorich then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Mongolia to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. Later, the Afghan ambassador, Zayed Jalal Karim, arrived at the palace. He was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Sayyid Jalal Karim then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Afghanistan to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the ambassador. The ceremony was attended by the Minister of the Royal Court, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Head of Royal Protocol. His Majesty the King praised the close relations linking Bahrain and their countries and the progress of these relations in many areas. For their part, the ambassadors convey to His Majesty the King the greetings of the leaders and their good wishes of health and happiness to His Majesty and progress and prosperity to Bahrain.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued a circular today regarding the Hitri New Year holiday. The Kingdom's ministries, departments and official institutions will remain closed on Saturday, August the 31st, corresponding to Muharram the 1st. As this day falls on a weekly holiday, it will be compensated by Sunday, September the 1st. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Kadebiya Palace representatives of the Hosseini Mahatam, led by Dr Hassan Hamid Al Arayad, where they greeted His Royal Highness and expressed thanks for the government for his interest to support and provide the necessary facilities for places of worship and religious events. They hailed His Royal Highness's directives to ensure the success of their Shura season every year. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister welcomed the heads of the Hosseini Matam and members of the General Authority of Hosseini Processions, expressing appreciation for their efforts to consolidate the noble values of Islam which call for unity. He affirmed that Bahrain is an example of coexistence, pluralism and support of its people's efforts towards promoting the nation and its development. His Royal Highness stressed that the society's unity is the foundation of security and stability and an essential pillar for the development of the country. He called to adhere to the values of communication and moderation which have characterised the Bahraini society throughout history and dismiss any hateful calls aimed at division and discard among the nation. The Prime Minister noted the keenness to communicate with citizens and work to achieve their aspirations and directed all ministries and concerned authorities to facilitate the organisation of religious occasions and the role in maintaining the social fabric and highlighting the values of tolerance, coexistence and pluralism. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness to provide all the required facilities in cooperation with the General Authority of Hosseini processions for a successful Ashura season. He stressed the importance of adhering to the value of moderation that characterised the people of Bahrain. For his part, Ghazi Abdel Mohsen delivered a speech on behalf of the presidents and members of the Matams in Husseinis, in which he expressed their pride in meeting His Royal Highness and the thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the efforts exerted, which resulted in the success of Ashura season each year, through his directives to all ministries and institutions. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his support of freedom of religious and doctrines and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his support. He also recited a poem on the occasion praising the support of His Royal Highness to citizens. <laughs> وهي بدء السنة الهجرية الجديدة وموسم عاشوراء الحسين عليه السلام إذ تتجدد رعايتكم السامية لهذه الأيام العزيزة التي ما فتئتم تتوارثون رعايتها كابرا عن كابر في العهد الخليفي الزاهر وصية من أجدادكم وآبائكم حتى صارت مفخرة بين الأمم بذرها الأجداد وتفاخر بها الأحفاد صاحب السمو وإذ يتشرف هذا الجمع الطيب 
ممثلين عن المآتم والحسينيات بمملكة البحرين بلقاء سموكم فإنه ينتهز هذه الفرصة لأن يقدم لمقامكم السامي أسمى آيات الشكر والعرفان على ما يبذله سموكم من جهد كبير لإنجاح موسم عاشوراء الإمام الحسين عليه السلام في هذا العام وفي كل عام وشكر أصحاب السماحة العلماء على توجيهاتكم لكل وزارات ومؤسسات الدولة بتسهيل كافة الإجراءات لما من شأنه الارتقاء بكل الخدمات المقدمة لهذه الشعائر الحسينية والمعزينة من داخل وخارج مملكة البحرين ومن شتى الجاليات العربية والإسلامية كما يرفع أصحاب السماحة أياديهم بالدعاء لئلا تنقطع هذه العادة السنوية المباركة متطلعين بمعية هذا الجمع الطيب لشكر سموكم بعد موسم عاشوراء الإمام الحسين عليه السلام إن شاء الله عرفانا منهم لسموكم على جميل صنعكم والحرص للاستماع لتوجيهاتكم السليمة لكل ما من شأنه صون الوحدة الوطنية والدفاع عن هذا البلد الآن والشكر منصون للقيادة السياسية الرشيدة وعلى رأسها حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه على ما يوليه جلالته لموضوع حرية الأديان والمذاهب من رعايه حتى صارت مملكة البحرين منارة للتسامح الديني ومفخرة للأجيال وكذلك لصاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد الأمين صاحب السمو وذي الهواشم سادات أتتك إلى قصر النماء فلا عين ولا مطر الحاملين صفات الهد يأسرهم حب الزعيم إذا اشتاقوا وإن عذلوا وأيدتهم جموع الشعب قاطبة وناصرتهم دموع العين والمقل فما ترى لهم إلا كمحمدة كما سموت بهم إذ يقصر الأمل فما جفوت بلادا يا صاحب فما جفوت بلادا ترتجي أملا ولا بسيدها أزرت به دول فالحب أنت فالحب أنت إذا ما غيجت مقل والعشق أنت إذا مرتبت القبل حفظكم الله يا صاحب السمو أخرا وسندا لهذا الشعب الأصيل إنه نعم المولى ونعم النصير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته For their part, the heads of Matams and members of the Husseini Processions General Authority express thanks and appreciation to the Prime Minister for the reception and keenness to provide all facilities for reviving religious occasions in light of the coexistence and peace in Bahrain. They stress that His Royal Highness is a symbol of security, stability and development in the Kingdom.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Kadebia Palace the special envoy of the Philippines President to the Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC countries, Dr. Amabel Aguilas, who is currently visiting the kingdom. Aguilas conveyed the greetings of the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his efforts to bolster bilateral cooperation while His Royal Highness asked him to convey his greetings to the President of the Philippines, wishing his country and people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness expressed satisfaction with the course of Bahraini-Filipino relations in various fields. He asserted the Kingdom's keenness on developing bilateral cooperation, coordination and consultation for the interests of the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the efforts of the Filipino community and their contributions to the development of the Kingdom stressing that they receive respect and appreciation. For his part, the Special Envoy of the Philippines President to the GCC countries commended His Royal Highness's keenness on supporting all that contributes to developing cooperation between the two countries, praising the Kingdom's supporting stances to the Philippines in various events. He asserted the Philippines' keenness on strengthening cooperation with Bahrain, expressing thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom for the support of the Philippine community. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, today held his weekly majlis at Rifa Palace. Members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of the Municipal Councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly Majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain society. The Majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasised the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and an opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
Borean Institute of Public Administration, the BIPA, organised a roundtable meeting titled Methods for Solving Government Challenges in the presence of a number of undersecretaries and assistant undersecretaries from various vital sectors to unify efforts aimed at solving government challenges according to scientific methods that contribute to increasing the quality and effectiveness of the public sector. Today's discussion was quite a constructive a roundtable discussion that uh, was convened for, for the second time during the series of uh, roundtable discussions. We uh, had quite a fruitful discussion and we had a, quite a constructive engagement with Professor Andrew from uh, the University of Harvard and uh, we believe that uh, organizing such events uh, certainly assists us in better understanding the best international practices uh, pertaining to the uh, work of, of uh, the public sector. I believe that uh, further engagement with uh, international experts in this field uh, certainly helps us uh, to convene in these roundtable discussions, but also to uh, learn and share experiences uh, across government uh, here in Bahrain. Governments are constantly all over the world trying to work out how to deliver the right services, deliver the services better, more efficiently, more cost effectively for their people. And what we're finding is that sometimes that's just harder than what people think. That there's a lot of disruptive things that get in the way of, of delivering services. So what this approach does is this approach allows governments to learn past all of those things. So when there's a disruption, when there's something that gets in the way, because you are iterating and you're adapting and you're learning, you recognize what it is and then you adapt to that. <laughs>